everybody it is a monday edition of a nascar vlog here on dnb talks we're here at new hampshire motor speedway the race was delayed to uh, monday and we're about to go get into the infield a little bit beforehand uh, there's not much of a fan zone activity here because most of it was you know already moved on to the next track some of it is still here though uh, so we'll show you a little bit of what's here i know it's not the full you know idea of what a race here in new hampshire would be but we will go ahead and try to show you all at least a little bit from our pov what the race is like here at new hampshire motor speedway this is our first time here for a nascar cup series race we did have a chance though we came here and just sat up in the stands on saturday and uh you know i'll show up you know, a little bit of B-roll here. We, you know, got to go check out the fan zones kind of there a little bit. Buying a shirt. You know, just a few good things. Watch some modified racing, the Xfinity race. But for now, it's cup racing day. I think Christopher Bell's going to win, but we'll see who ends up winning in the end. So come along with us. We're going to New Hampshire Motor Speedway. We're working our way down the hill right now. We actually just went to Tweet Up, hosted by Bob Pocker. So if you guys don't get a chance to go out to those, you need to try to. A lot of fun. I usually try to go to all the races that I'm at. Uh, a lot of people from New Hampshire, strangely, recognize me so kind of interesting think more people so than like nashville super speedway so thanks to all you guys who came out and said hi and uh hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video right outside the tunnel and turn two you can see some of the turn one grandstands here but just on the outside here do have a little bit of a fan zone activity you see the main entrance over there but then right over there we do have some fan zone activities to check out Maybe some movie fans might recognize what's right here in front of me right here transformers rise of these what do they have they have the original looking Bumblebee. This kind of look they had in the very first movie with Shia LaBeouf. I, don't, I haven't seen a new Transformers in a while, so I don't know if they went back to the style, but pretty cool to see Bumblebee here. But Arctic coolers here at the race, and look at that, their trailer even kind of looks like a cooler. That's pretty cool. Got lots of their coolers on display, maybe even for sale, I don't know. But a lot of uh, things, they're giving out some free stuff over there. So look out for Arctic coolers if you're at the race in New Hampshire. Now, a lot of times when we go to races, Toyota has a big booth set up. But unfortunately, it looks like Toyota has done packed up their displays for today, or for the weekend, I should say. But they do still have some good cars on display if you want to check out what could potentially be your next Toyota vehicle. Now, if you know me, I used to sell Toyota, so I'm a little biased. I always like the looks of these uh, Tacomas over here. If I could afford any vehicle, though, it would be this beautiful TRD Pro 4Runner. This looks beautiful, and deep down, I think it's my wife's dream car. But check out this one, TRD Pro Sequoia. Now that is a beast of an SUV, but also like the Tundra. Almost all of the merchandise haulers are gone at this point, but the folks at Hendrick Motorsports still left behind one. They're selling Alex Bowman, William Byron, Kyle Larson, and a little bit of Chase Elliott merchandise out of this one. I think that might be it for now. Definitely, I think they have more stuff here on a usual day for a race, but being a Monday, I'm kind of just, you know, not I'm, I'm not shocked to see this much gone, but I am happy to see at least still this much to still do when you come to the race on a Monday. Any fish in that little pond? I need to know. Looks like there could be something in there. Walk on the infield here. A little bit of a walk to the media center for us, but coming up here to the gate to get into the garage area. So, you and Claudia are heading in. Might would have needed this yesterday if they had any chance of running a race, but don't need them today. So I think Goodyear it's, is slowly working on getting these put back up. It's weird to see like wet tires at an oval. I know, yeah. Well, what are these doing here? This is an oval track. We would have had a, uh, a well, this probably been the first time that had been Tried, but, um, in a cup yeah, series at least yes it was just constantly raining yesterday so they, you know they have to be in damp conditions after it so okay i'm gonna try to keep it down i don't want to get in too much trouble here but this is actually pretty cool i don't usually show stuff in the media center but this is something unique to new hampshire so being in lobster country they've actually got some lobster uh cages turned into little chairs over here this is a pretty cool setup and then if you, this is actually a pretty cool thing on the wall here if you come at a certain angle like this yeah, that's not really doing too well. It's supposed to be a picture of New Hampshire. I wonder if it looks any different. Oh yeah, kind of make an O, oh, it turns into like a modern look. That's actually pretty cool artwork they've got. Of course, that's what it's all about. The, who wants to win the Crayon 301 trophy. Driver introductions going on. Here's one of the more unique cars here. Denny Hamlin's Mavis tires and brakes. Still not sure what to think about it. But hey, there's Denny. Ricky Stenhouse's cars always seem to make me hungry. Last time at Nashville, he had ballpark hot dog buns and now he's got drumstick on it. it looks great i love how it circles around the tire like that all right right before the race starts claudia we don't have much longer who do you think is actually going to win this race today uh probably bell like everybody keeps saying as long as he gets clean air it'll be 
probably be gone. Underdog, I'm pulling for Eric on it could surprise us. I kind of wanted to see a little shake up in the playoffs, so. It's he one here it. before. I know, and he starts, what, third? Starts so, third. I mean, anything's possible, but I really think it's probably going to be a good, a good shot. I think he's hoping they've got those sunglasses so it looks dark up there in the tower today. <laughs> Junior gets the win at New Hampshire in the Crayon for Rio One. Somewhere in there there's a lobster, I'm sure. I see it. Crew members posing with the lobster. Look at big claws. Compared him to the size of his hands. And it's huge. Don't be nervous. It's taped up. You guys are good. Playing a game of pasta lobster here. Taking it from one person to another. There's Martin Truex. Oh, let's go back in the cooler. Oh, yep, back in there he goes. Take him over to McCree's and get him steamed up for Martin. And that'll do it from us here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway for our first time here at the track up in New Hampshire. Claudia, Martin Truex Jr. is back there celebrating with his lobster. He gets to win his, I think his first win ever in New Hampshire Motor Speedway. What was your thoughts on today's race? Well, uh, I started off thinking Christopher Bell was just gonna leave the field and a little bit different, but same scenario. Leaves the field. Yeah, but yeah, no one had anything for Truex. The only car that looked like he had somewhat of a chance was Blaney, and uh, he actually ended up having a penalty there at the end that ended his day. So. Well, you can't forget about Omarola. Like he was my dark horse pick. Was made it to the front uh, by Bulls. Pit strategy: two tires. Did not get that tire on. Fell off. That is true. Well, yeah. Almost fell off, but wrecked the car. Yeah, poor Omarola. Just wasn't meant for him. But uh, the guys with the uh, 19 car, they're they're looking like the old Martin Truex Jr. these days. He's got quite a few wins this year, and I think this might have been the first time we've seen Truex win. That's very exciting. I don't know what's going on like this. Anyways, we got to get going. Uh, from New Hampshire Motor Speedway, this is Danny and Claudia V. We hope you guys enjoyed our experience. I know it's a Monday, so it's not the full experience you can get here, but hey. Come check out New Hampshire Motor Speedway. We're so glad we did. And, and this completes uh, track number 15 Number for 15, us. yep. So we're making our way on up. And if you haven't noticed, we've been able to go to one race a month so far this oh year. God, but this is the last time we get to do that, unfortunately. We're taking a little bit of a break. Our next race will be Martinsville in October. So be on the lookout for that. And until next time, we hope you have a great day. And we'll finally do a vlog from there. We've never done a vlog from there. Correct. We'll finally do Martinsville. Anyways, bye guys. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video from Day2B Talks. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss another new video here on Day2B Talks. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.